So this has been cooking for exactly 17 minutes. Take the lid off. Take a peek at that. Uh, yes, this is the Food Network. The Cooking with Jack Show. Now, if you don't know who Jack is, then I sincerely apologize for you having to live a boring life up until this point. But don't you worry, all of that is about to change. The Cooking with Jack Show is a YouTube cooking show that puts out some of the most questionable cooking videos ever seen on this planet. I mean, like, half of the things that Jack makes are not even actual recipes. It honestly seems like for most of the things he cooks, he got to look at a cookbook for five Five seconds and then had to recreate the recipe from memory. And the video we're gonna be watching today is a perfect example of this. Lazy Man's Pork Chops. I don't even really have words for how bad this recipe is, so uh, I'm just gonna show you. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Now normally we skip Jack's intros because they tend to be pretty drawn out and just full of nothing, but I figured we might watch a couple minutes of this one because uh, he calls the Food Network and tries to pitch his show. Uh, yes, this is the Food Network. Oh, Jack, never change. Not only is he calling the number that I assume he found when he googled, you know, Food Network's number, but this woman also answered the phone by saying Food Network, yet Jack still feels the need to ask the question, is this the Food Network? Yes, it is. Um, I need to speak with somebody re Oh, I'm sorry, what's your name? Jennifer. Jennifer, thank you for, uh, taking the call. I need to speak with somebody in development. You only have no a departments or titles. No departments or titles. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm calling from the Cooking with Jack show, and we okay. wanted to pitch the show to the network. I'm, uh, I'm really curious to know who the we he's referring to is. I mean, there's no way Jack has an actual production team, right? Okay, give me one second. Thank you so much. She doesn't know she Food knows. Network appreciates your interest in suggesting ideas, but we accept series and special proposals only from television production companies with national or major market production credentials. Cool, it's me. So I listened back to this a few times, and I think it really says a lot about Jack's character that I uh, can't tell if he's joking or not. Because part of me thinks that Jack might really believe that he would be considered a major network. What do you guys think? If you are a production company, please send us your credentials and a history of your production experience only. After reviewing them, Food Network will determine whether or not to send you a release form with a request for further information. Do not send any pitch ideas or proposals at this time, as they will be returned unread. Please send your company's credentials to Food Network, 75, 9, Yeah, 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 okay. New York, New York. I'll get all that down later. Okay, so there's hope. Well, considering that it has been 13 years since this video was uploaded, I'm gonna say that either Food Network is really behind on returning emails, or they weren't the biggest fan of the Cooking with Jack show. Check that out. They said if you have a real show that's watched nationally, they don't realize I have people in Germany watching me. That's right, Germany. If I'm in Germany, I'm everywhere. So. I'll let you know how that goes. We'll just keep going, and we'll see what happens, all right? Jack, based off that logic, I could get a Food Network show. I think they said national production credentials, not some guy in Germany watches your YouTube videos. Okay, so we take the lid off. We're going to put the flame on high, warm the pan up, going to drop in two tablespoons of butter. You can let that melt. When that's completely melt, we're gonna throw the vermicelli in next. It's in the rice roni box. As you can see, the butter is almost melted. Yeah, so when you're following a recipe to cook rice or pasta or anything in that kind of category, and the first step is to melt butter, run in the opposite direction. Now when you, when you open the rice roni box, you're gonna notice that there's a flavor packet inside. Put that off to the side. We're not gonna use that right now. Pull that out of the box, then you're just gonna dump all the rice roni in there, okay? There you go. Now, this is where you begin sauteing the rice roni in the butter. Okay, so as you can see, the vermicelli and the rice are starting to brown in the butter. Okay, so this is now the second time I've seen somebody cook rice like this. We also saw Kay from Kay's Cooking do this method. Please tell me these are the only two people who do this. If you or anybody you know pan fries their raw rice, please turn yourself or whoever you may know into the nearest police station. 
So once you get some good browning going on, you don't want to burn it. So we're going to get the water involved in here, okay? We're going to put the water in, two and a half cups of water, if you remember. Beautiful. That's exactly what it should do. Just sizzle. All right. Yeah, so uh, once again, uh, no, that is not exactly what any sort of cooking of rice should look like. I mean, there is a pretty universally accepted way on how to cook rice, and I don't think it will ever be replaced by uh, this. Once again, this is for us lazy people. Just throw it all in. I love that. And then slowly mix it all in. Take your time. You want to get all those flavors going. You're going to get it all dissolved in the water. As soon as you got the flavoring mixed in, you're going to set these in here. These pork chops are beautiful. Oh, oh wow, okay. Uh, so I think we've officially hit a new low. Now Jack has never been known for being a flavor master when it comes to seasoning his meats, but this? This is a crime. Jack is seasoning his pork chops with nothing but rice aroni flavor water. Yeah, I think we've seen it all. So this has been cooking for exactly 17 minutes. Take the lid off. Take a peek at that. See how it looks like all the water's gone in the rice, but it still looks wet. Everything's delicious. The pork chops are cooked. So I'm not 100% sure as to why Jack turned into a cartoon vampire when he said the pork chops are cooked, but I am a bit curious as to whether or not that statement is true. I mean, it does look like something has been done to them. I don't know if cooked is the right word. Maybe half-boiled, defiled, a tragedy for the pig who had to die for this. I don't know, just a lot of words other than cooked come to mind. I still think this should be a felony. And it smells great. Let's put this on a plate and see how it tastes. Look how delicious that looks. Jack, I'm, I'm really not trying to be mean, but it doesn't look anywhere near the word delicious. There's no color. I know that there's no seasoning. I mean, it's literally just going to taste like buttered rice water. Very nice. Let's take a taste of that. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. You can taste all the seasoning from the seasoning packet. Totally cooked into the meat. The meat is perfect. All right, now let's try the rice. Let's try some of that. Mmm, ooh, a little hot. But they're delicious too. They're so moist. I genuinely think Jack might be a pathological liar. I mean, I kind of understand not wanting to say to the internet, okay, my cooking sucks, this recipe did not work. But I've watched quite a few of his videos and he has never ever said that. I mean, he admits to not following recipes and just making stuff up. Even if the man does not have properly functioning taste buds, something in his 15 year long cooking career has had to not taste good to him. These taste test mean nothing because he always says the same things. Honestly, I gotta say, this video has left me a bit disappointed with Jack. I mean, don't get me wrong, I never go on his channel expecting good cooking, but usually at least it's bad with a flair. This was just a boring and poorly done recipe. You're better than this, Jack. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.